Welcome back to the Anime Protagonist Podcast. Uh, we are going to be reviewing a little little anime called Barack Obama. I mean, sorry, sorry. Barack Aman? Barack, mm-hmm. Barack Obama? Barack Aman? What, what is it called again, guys? Barack no, Aman. let me be clear. This is Alan. Barack Aman. Let me be clear. Uh, yeah, we're going to do our usual anime pro thing. <laughs> and we're going to talk about... Uh, we're going to start off by guessing what the uh, other co-hosts thought about it. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to go into our OP and our ED. I'm sorry, I'm trying to remember this off the top of the dome right now. And it's not going very well because we're all rusty. Uh, <laughs> So we're we'll talking talk about we're just stuff. gonna talk about it. I think Spoiler we're gonna, free. Yeah, let's kibosh like the strict structure of it, and let's just kind of you know talk let's open it show. up. We're we're yeah. pretty good at this podcasting stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but for real, I think I think we're let's just kind of just have a discussion on it. We'll go spoiler yeah. free in the beginning. So if you haven't watched the show, don't be afraid. We will warn you before we start talking spoilers. But mm-hmm. then once we do warn you, all holds off. Nothing held back. We're talking spoilers. We're thrashing mm-hmm. this show if we have to. And then we're gonna at the end we're gonna say our best boy, best girl, and we're going to rate it on a scale of one to five. Five being a protagonist, one being a antagonist. I think we haven't given anything a one. Maybe this will be the first show given a one. Maybe. Let's find out. Let's Cole, find out. I yes. think you enjoyed this show, but it might not have been your favorite thing ever. Okay. I think you liked the theatrical natures of it, like the the cinematography and stuff like that, because it's kind of March comes in like a lion E. It's kind of a little vaguely Shaftian. Mm. Jay, I think you, I think you enjoyed this show, but at times were probably bored with it. If I had to guess. Okay, Jay, what do you think? Uh, I think Cole liked this show, but he kept comparing it to March comes in like a lion, and thought March comes yeah. in like a lion was better. Um, Mike is a bit more of a dark horse. Just spoiler: As March always, comes in like a I'm, lion is better. I'm an enigma. You never know what I'm going to think. But I think he likes the comedy aspect and the cute kids. <laughs> mm-hmm. mm, them cute kids. Yeah, the the mm. protect energy. Clip it. Clip that. Clip that. <laughs> <laughs> this cannot be used against me in a court of public opinion <laughs> mm. it will be uh, it cole, will be though cole what, what do you think <laughs> oh right yeah uh mike echoing what jay said he likes the the protect energy of like main girl and the the other girl that always cries mm-hmm. <laughs> uh jay honestly i have a tough time thinking what jay thought of it uh because yeah he could jay's go the hard either one. way yeah uh i think he I think Jay liked it, but I don't think it was the best show on his radar. I think Jay's probably kind of hovering around a seven and a half or an eight. Hmm. Uh, do we want to reveal our, our actual thoughts, Michael? What okay. did you actually think? In one sentence. In one sentence? Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea, revealing what we actually thought. I liked it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You liked it? But not for the reasons you think. I thought the protect i forgot that we're actually just kind of like open now we can talk about whatever <laughs> yeah I yeah was waiting for us to talk op yeah, and just EDs. like give us give yeah. us your quick uh, uh, my quick my quick thoughts i i think it's a nice comfy show i think it's tells a good story mm-hmm. it doesn't it does the thing that i always said i like about march comes in like a lion where it doesn't focus on this depression and stuff like that mm-hmm. it, but it is the it is like the main point of the show as the guy is depressed and anxious and stuff like that and he he learns to deal with it and i think it's just a nice story that it was it really hit at a nice spot me watching it right after coming back from like a weekend of just straight work mm-hmm, and like mm-hmm. doing and a like, hockey game and business and grown up stuff and then like you, and you went to a hockey game i did Stop go to a hockey to, game Stop trying to make it sound like you you're oh it was yeah. so hard it was so hard for me you went and saw connor mcdavid oh, the so greatest hockey player in the world very tough very tough yes <laughs> uh sorry but, sorry 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 he's just go, very go. see the spite is strong on Annie pro you must know uh <laughs> <laughs> anyway yeah it's a it's a really nice little show i'd recommend it to anyone who likes slice of life stuff for sure mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. joseph i love this show oh um i had a feeling you might but yeah. i also had a feeling you wouldn't at all so <laughs> yeah it's tough it's tough mm-hmm. can i defend why i why i thought you might not have been crazy about for it for sure Lack of romance. Yeah. Mm. I thought so too. Yeah. And yeah. honestly, Jay, yeah. I know you're going to disagree with this take very violently. Yeah. But all the shows <laughs> that you do really love have uh, 
curvaceous main <laughs> women in them. <laughs> mm. I mean, and, and silver haired main women in them a lot uh, of the time I'm, as well. I, and long pointy ears, understandable. They mm. don't always have to have the pointy ears. No, but, but usually it, the, it, helps. It, it helps. It helps. It helps. It helps. Yeah. This show does not have those things. No. Anyway, no. Jay, why, yes. why did you love this show? I really liked um, the main story of it and um, yep. Seishu Honda's mm -hmm. like, own journey throughout. Um, and um, I just liked how the island and everyone on the island kind of incorporated into that. And just like mm -hmm. how, um, like it knew when to be lighthearted, and it used the lightheartedness to help with the character, and I really liked just all of that. Um, yeah, yeah, and uh, the comedy was also pretty good. Yeah, the comedy was good. Yeah. It's yeah. rare that you find an anime that a the comedy actually lands for mm -hmm. me, and I, I I appreciate it every time I do. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So Cole, uh, what did you think of this show? Well, I told Jay earlier. You did? Yeah. Well, I'm, I kind of hinted at you that maybe I didn't really like this show very much. <gasps> but I loved it, actually. I yeah, knew it. I knew he was... <laughs> I feel like I'm like, this seems like Cole doing the thing where he's like, I'm just going to play a little game yeah, with you yeah. here. <laughs> just a quick bait and switch. That, that's yeah. no, it was it was it was a delight a great show oh, yeah. it was yeah. a great show yeah. uh like like you guys said very march comes in like a lion at the start but not quite not quite like yeah it's, it's not his depression that he's trying to fight against yeah. it's like his ego yeah. like he's too yeah. full of himself mm -hmm. and you kind of get he, over the course of the story that he kind of overcomes that bit by bit I might have mm. to disagree with you a little bit there. I don't know if it's his ego. It's more like he's trying to overcome being like a perfectionist almost. Like he yeah. he expects more than he should out of himself. He he, then... he he very much like is rigid in like the textbook. Yeah. And like he's learning to more so express his own take on on uh calligraphy. To not take things so seriously yeah. and kind of just like not be as rigid. Live. Yeah. Just be live. Just, yeah. just be live. Like me. Just be live. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Continue your thoughts, Cole. Yeah. No. And uh, I'm derailed. Uh, uh, no, it was great. Yeah. I, I really loved it. I loved the, uh, the setting of it as well. Mm -hmm. Like it was very, I don't know, like just great. Just I, pure wholesome, right? Like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It was, I, I liked that it was pretty. Just kind of roll along. It's just rolling along. Like you guys said, the comedy really hits. The pacing's really good, too. It is really I, good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. It's a nice 12 ep episode. Yeah, definitely. I recommend it uh, to, yeah. I mean, fans of March comes in like a lion. It's not as heavy as that show is, mm -hmm. but no. similar themes. Like I think the lightheartedness over of it really helps the show especially for people who like might think march comes in like a lion's a bit too heavy mm -hmm. i i could i could agree with that for sure actually like yeah it, it's kind of a weird one it's like i can i get the recommendation i i see why they're like they're parallel shows mm -hmm. but they're not the same show at all oh at the yeah same time. yeah yeah you know what no, i mean no like like i was gonna say like it's it's the thematic use of like finding family to yeah mm. like overcome your struggle whatever and, that mm. is and i'm such a sucker too for found family shows yeah so <laughs> that it, yeah yeah this yeah. one hit mike's also a sucker for protect mm -hmm. i am a sucker for protect but you guys might be surprised in this one actually is what i'll say oh did you not like the main girl was she uh, too bratty no i like the main girl i i just uh she's not my best i'll just spoil it right now she's not my best girl she's, for the show it's i don't just, think Mike, she's, it's not, okay. mine she's not mine either yeah. i don't yeah. she just there wasn't she was too one note a little bit i thought i, but, I thought she i mean we're gonna talk about characters later but i thought she was really good oh yeah all the characters in it were really that's, good that's one yeah. thing i really appreciated this show is like all the characters and all like everything that happens in it felt like something that like a real person could yeah, do you yeah, know what i mean yeah mm -hmm. like it all felt like oh okay i could see this happening mm -hmm. or i i see their motivations i get it and there was all it all felt very like real and wholesome and like not contrived if that makes sense mm -hmm. even yeah. though it, by its nature it sort of is right Cause yeah it, this get, dude goes to this gets sent to this island by his dad and it's just like who does that mm -hmm. but yeah. <laughs> yeah. he's being banished uh, uh 
Should we talk about the OPs and EDs? Yes, yeah. please. Uh, they're both great. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so while I was listening <laughs> to it, I was like, Cole will absolutely love it, and I do too. It, it's they're both yes. so good. Uh, it's not even the song. It's like no, no, no. The but the OP yeah, in yeah, it yeah, yeah. is so it's good. It's so good. Like right when right when she's opening up that the door, very first mm -hmm. thing. Yes. And her her head like just pops in. It's yeah. so. Yeah. My yeah, favorite, my great. favorite part of the OP is like when he's reaching up and like you think it's the sky, and then like he just touches it and like smears it. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Like that's I love, cool. I favorite, love that. My favorite part of the OP is when he's like sitting on the ground, and then uh, what's her name there? Naru is sitting in front of him, and they both are all like covered in smudges from like the ink and stuff, mm -hmm. and it's just I don't know, or like just. Ah, Naru's cute. She's all covered in ink and putting her hands on everything. Yeah, just a yeah. gross little. Or when kid. she's like running and like spreading that ink on the, on the background, like the background. Yeah, yeah. yeah. God, yeah. it's so it's such oh, a it's good so OP. pretty. Perfect, such a pretty OP. Yeah. Perfectly artsy and also like interesting and like just a good song mm -hmm. at the same time. It's yeah. just yeah, top tier OP for oh, sure. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and honestly, I, so a uh, little bit of a um, a uh, little bit of a behind the curtain thing. This is the Jay cried. No, but the OP was the reason why I selected uh, Barakamon because, like, I was like, I looked at, yeah, I looked okay, at an Annie list, and I was like, I'm gonna watch the OP, just see, and and then I watched it, and I was like, yeah, this is the show. You know, another thing that I liked about the show was you kind of expect it to be him, kind of trying to like, you know, the kid is usually the one that doesn't want to do anything with the adults yeah. in shows like this. But yeah. in this, it's kind of the other he's, way around. He's like the like tsundere. He, yeah. Yeah, yeah I he's like the tsundere. Yeah. I did like yeah. that, too, because it felt a little more... I liked how... Uh, we're getting a little off topic of the OP, but I liked how he he was the jaded one, and mm -hmm. he had to go to the island to become unjaded. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it, mm -hmm. it, just, it's, it just hits. It hits. Especially speaking as a jaded of, old man. Speaking of it hits, that ED. Oh, that ED. That ED. Okay. Important question. Yeah, which one's better, the EP, <laughs> OP or the ED? Mike, we're in the same wavelength. I, I was just about to ask that because they're they're basically tied in my books, and I think it all comes down to personal preference. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, you're asking. Like, I think we're all of the same opinion. Like, they're both equally good, but because you asked, I'll say OP. Okay. Okay. And yeah. I will say ED. I mm. guess I'm breaking this tie, huh? Yeah, yeah. Jay, it's all on your shoulders. Um, yeah. I like them both. I want to. Uh, say that right now, but when it comes to the visuals and what I like most there, I gotta go with the ED. I love like the watercolor yeah. aesthetic of it. Yeah. Get off my podcast. Jay. Get off my Jay. podcast right now. <laughs> you not Get out of here. Jay. That, that aesthetic you, was just Mike against Cole. Mm, mm, so yeah, that's the the aesthetic. Uh, the song too. The song is very yeah. The aesthetic is very reminiscent. Well, not reminiscent because I guess this show that I'm about to compare it to comes out. It came out after this, but uh, uh, Kubo won't let me be invisible. Mm. Very oh, similar, similar art styles, yeah. yeah oh, okay, for the EDs, like it's it's kind of like water painting, mm -hmm. very pretty. It, it reminded pretty. me of uh, the March comes in and like a lion OP that I like, where he's like running on water and there's all those colors and stuff. Mm -hmm. It kind of had that sort of vibe to it a little bit, yeah. Yeah, it's just yeah. It's the just moral awesome. of the story is there's no wrong answer, yeah. No, yeah. they're both great, no, there's no it's wrong just personal yeah. preference, yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah. I do want to touch on uh, voice acting. the voice acting. Yes. 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 Because all of the kids are in actual this voice by are kids. actually children. Yeah. I thought I that was like, so They cool. were all like eight and nine yeah. year olds. And that like they are good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, the main girl. I, I have a tough Naru? time his name. Naru? Yeah. Naru. Naru. Naru is like. She's such an integral part of the show, mm. and her acting in it is top notch. Yeah, like yeah. really good, especially for a kid. There, so there was, now, uh, there was like when she was first introduced, I was like, oh, that delivery might have been like was a bit weird for me. And then like I looked it up, and I was like, oh, she was a kid when she did this, and like yeah. that, like that blew my mind. But um, what's what's even great, like all of the all kids of them, are kids. Yeah, all of them. And that they're is all good. Really cool. Yeah. Except for the two middle middle school girls. But yeah. I kind of get why they weren't. They needed some yeah. acting chops in those roles. Yeah. Mike. Yeah. Sub or dub? <sighs> you already know. You watch the dub. I watch the dub. Oh, you watch the dub. Did they use children? No, they didn't. Which, Which, you missed out. 
I, I thought all the kids were honestly like just standard good anime yeah. adults pretending to be kids in anime. Mm-hmm. It, yeah. there, it was it yeah. was good. It wasn't bad. When I I did regret actually once I saw that the kids were played by kids in the sub, I was kind of like, oh, I wish I. I wish I had the ability to watch that, but I had yeah. downloaded it to my tablet to mm-hmm. watch on the plane when I was going, mm-hmm. and I only downloaded the English version. So, because Crunchyroll doesn't let you pick which one you want to watch, you have to you have to choose, and then you're stuck with it. You can't just flip back and forth. It's ridiculous. Crunchyroll. Yeah. yeah, we should have tore their awards apart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, how how was the dub? Like it was it honestly, was good, honestly, the I. At no point until I found out that the kids were kids, uh, I might actually go back and just like listen to an episode of just to hear the kids talking for a bit. But mm-hmm. uh, honestly, the dub is great. Like it's it's very good. There's no complaints for me on that part. All the mm-hmm. voice acting was really good. There, there were like some standard like this sounds a little wooden type stuff. But honest, honestly, they were all good. I don't really have any standouts. I wouldn't say. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is Mike also missed out on Daisuke Ono. Yeah, Jotaro. Is... Oh, yes. Yeah, as, uh, is, as uh, Honda. A real shame. Yeah. Sensei. Guys... Did they call him Sensei? Please tell me they call him Sensei in the dub. Y- yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, he's Sensei. Okay. Oh, sorry, I didn't okay, realize good. you were talking to me. Yeah. So, uh, guys, guys, they, the more they we're retained a lot about... of it. The more we talk about this, the more and more I want to buy the manga. <laughs> I'm going to be well, really I mean... honest with you guys. I, ju- I, I, you I know, want to start reading the, the manga. The other thing about this is uh, that I looked up was that it's a sequel to a, another manga. Yes. Uh, so there is another manga called actually... Honda Kun, but it's more of like a spin off where he's in high yeah, school. Yeah, it's a spin off of this. Yeah. Oh, it's a spin off yeah, of this. Yeah. Okay. So it's the other Which, way. Jay, can you answer something for me? Because you know everything. Okay. I, I looked it up and it says that it has Naru in it. And I was like, how is that possible? Is that true, or is it just my I, anime list was glitching out? I haven't read the manga. It might just be like there's like a flashback or something. I'm not sure, or like oh, a flashback maybe the whole thing is a flashback. Yeah, it could be. I don't know. Let us know, know if you know if you know the answer to that. Tell us in Discord or Instagram or I didn't Twitter, do my homework for, for for that. I wasn't prepared. That's okay. Now, one thing one thing I will say that this show maybe maybe it's its weak link, but I don't think like it was bad or anything. But the visuals in it were pretty average i'd say they were Service- above average but nothing nothing spectacular nothing, was, they were serviceable like they yeah they were yeah. they did what they were supposed to do mm-hmm. but like no no real sakuga moments no real, or anything but at like the that. same time i no. don't think it really needed it didn't need any it. Sakuga, no it didn't any, need uh, sakuga, it. well no. that's what i'm saying yeah maybe like during I, his painting or like his uh calligraphy maybe it, it could have used sakuga but like i could see yeah i could see what either when he's painting or when uh like they do the little shots where they show like a landscape and he gets his inspiration and stuff like yeah. that mm-hmm. yeah i could see them putting a little more budget into that and i think they probably did but mm-hmm. yeah I, I i agree like the visuals are not it, it's definitely not bad but it's not you're not writing any rave reviews about the visuals yeah. of the show yeah but I, yeah. I at the same time i don't think like you're watching this show for the visuals no, 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 yeah. no, no. It's just, it's just a thing yeah. that needs to be discussed. Yeah, absolutely, this is an anime. absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I, I did appreciate that the visuals. They, they clearly put a lot of effort into making sure that the calligraphy mm-hmm. looked good. Like mm-hmm. you could tell when it was his, or you could tell when it was someone else's. You could mm-hmm. tell when he did something different. Like it all, the, the actual art of the show. Oh, about absolutely. a show about and art looked good. Which I'm I very always curious. Um, how if the mangaka got like a actual calligrapher to help them out uh, oh they must have with, they must have with something or if like they just did a lot of research or like how that how that came to be or maybe they're that's what maybe they're a calligrapher yeah maybe yeah, yeah. yeah. um yeah. like that i guess that's kind of spoilery i'll leave that for now uh okay. the one thing i want to also talk about too while we're here yes. is the sound in this show is actually probably something you would write home about like mm. i thought the the soundtrack of the show and like all that's everything about it was really really good mm-hmm. they did a really good job with like all the themes and stuff like that like when when he would get his inspiration and all the, the music would swell and all that stuff it but sounded like when he's really kinda, good yeah or when he's like down in the dumps or whatever it's just kind of like everything fit really well you're not mm-hmm. it's not a soundtrack you're gonna put on and listen to i wouldn't mm-hmm. say but it just yeah, thematically sure it just yeah. perfectly amplified the show and yeah. all the emotions yeah. you're supposed to feel for sure yeah i i mean it didn't 
I didn't notice it. No. So it, that's it which be... sometimes sometimes is a good thing. Yeah. Like sometimes you don't need like a bombastic crazy thing. Mm-hmm. It was again serviceable. It did what it was supposed to do. Yeah. And definitely did play up the emotions when it needed to and and didn't at other times, but it wasn't like it was like, oh my god, this composition is terrific. Yeah, no, and I think no. that's what I'm listening yeah. for. Yeah, yeah, it didn't, it didn't change the earth. I wouldn't say like it, it's, mm-hmm. it's just good. But uh, I think it might also be a result of me listening to it with my nice headphones on and Maybe. also watching the dub because the dubs generally have a better uh, mix and they generally have mm-hmm. more. They're usually in 5.1, whereas yeah. uh, Japanese stuff is usually just in 2.0. So yeah. just stereo, whereas yeah. uh, W gets around, and I, that probably maybe made the difference. I maybe, I don't maybe. know. I don't know. I didn't listen to the subs. So. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, any other general spoiler-free thoughts? Who no. would you recommend this to, Michael? Oh, who would I recommend it to? I'd recommend it to anyone who likes kind of introspective type anime, where you're kind of like you have to like grown-up shows like you have to like seinen or kind of just like more mature ideas and stuff like that and be willing to dive into your own emotions and kind of think about like mm-hmm. what is the point of this or what is what am i really feeling like right now or, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah like you have to mm-hmm. yeah you have to be a little bit like shoegazy pondering the meaning of things and if you like stuff like that which i do I would say you like this. Okay? Like the ones, obvious one we've mentioned several times now is March Comes In Like a Lion. If you like that show, yeah. this is in the same vein. It's not the same show by any means, but it definitely, if you like that show, you'll like this. It's kind of like that cozy vibes with like a kind of a dark undertone theme of like a character coming of age and figuring out who they are and what it means to mm-hmm. really be themselves and be happy. And it's nice. I'd recommend it to... Anyone who likes slice of life, but particularly people who like like a darker th- undertone to it. Jay, um, so I would recommend this to two different kinds of people. Um, so Mike covered one half of it, uh, where he said like if you like that kind of like philosophical thing, um, and that's and that's where you're what you're interested in. Um, I definitely agree. Check this out. Um, but on the other side, if you like things like sweetness and lightning or, uh, things like that, where like, it's like a guy looking like, uh, hanging out with a kid or taking care of a kid or something like that. I think you'd get, uh, some kind of, uh, interest in this as well, because, uh, you know, um, For sure. Honda is, uh, spends a lot of time with Naru and it's a lot of the show, uh, revolves around their dynamic. Um, yeah. so mm-hmm. I think that, um, if you like things like sweetness and lightning, uh, and that kind of slice of life, definitely check this out. Um, or like Mike said, if you like that philosophical thing, this is also for you. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Not much more I can add there. Uh, another recommendation for this would probably be something like Hina Matsuri. Uh, yeah. Very comedic, but that same kind of like found family, adoptive father, adoptive daughter kind of thing. Uh, yeah. And March comes in like a lion. Yeah, March comes in like a lion. Still better than this, though. There will never be anything better than March comes in like a lion. <laughs> I yeah, I would be inclined to agree with you, Cole. Yeah, on that. This state. was very good, though. Yeah, it's not a shot against the show. It's just nothing will ever meet that. Ever. <laughs> I personally can never live up to this. To March comes in like a lion, but that's Jay. You know there. Jay, I didn't ask you. Well, well this I mean, is my podcast did. too, so I can say what I want. Thank you. The official podcast stance, and this is all of my co-hosts agree with me on this. <laughs> that March Comes In Like a Lion is the greatest anime of all time and I will not hear any arguments against it. Thank you. Spoilers? What? Yeah, spoilers. Cole's a crazy person. 